This is the John Deere 108 and that's how I built it. Jake, the man behind the camera, he gave me this mower. This mower was stock when I got it. And at first I just did a pulley swap and then a year later I decided to build it. Under the hood, I have an old resin tank as a fuel tank. Um, all the wires are jammed back here. I actually put the key up front because the 15.5 horse came with this larger key knob. So up front, this button used to be the deck engagement. It doesn't do anything right now. Maybe we'll put some headlights up front, but uh, it just holds this piece on. We don't have the throttle here anymore because on the right side, that's going to be our gas. We got clutch on the left. This deck lift is now the e-brake and the shifter's back here on the side. The clutch pedal is stock. Um, the gas was actually used to be the brake and we just hooked up a throttle cable there. In the rear here, we're running the stock transaxle. Now, the best way I can explain to you how I got it from the bottom of the frame to the top is a clockwise or counterclockwise 180 degree flip. The shifter I had to reconfigure. The old plate used to be, you know, much smaller. But I routed the shifter down here. Not the best looking, but it does work. Look at those greasy welds. <laughs> Don't film that. <laughs> That's going in the video. On the engine is a seven inch pulley on the rear is a one and a half inch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? Those are some greasy welds. Look at that. And all this was flux core too. So it just goes to show you don't need a good welder to uh, make stuff uh, look nice. Uh, well, well, this whole thing was built flux core and somehow it is still it, working. Yeah, it still holds. Even though it's so heavy. The steering, uh, it works. It's probably like the third version. I wouldn't recommend doing it how I did it, but in the meantime, it seemed like the best option. As you can tell from the time last video with the body, I just kind of went for it. First, I flipped the uh, wheels so they would stick out further and fit the seat in between. Then I proceeded to cut this piece and fold down the flaps to fit the seat. Um, the most important part to finish the look was I actually lowered this control unit and the hood about two inches to match the proportions. Dave, how many uh, lug bolts are we working with? So. As you can see from, from here, this mower only has three lug nuts, studs, whatever. Um, in the process of building and driving, I lost two, so now we got two per wheel. That's all you need. This mower has been through a lot. Uh, the biggest complaint I have is how heavy the frame is. This thing is an absolute tank, and while it might be nice to rebuild the frame, to make it a lot lighter it'd probably be a whole lot better but i probably won't do that until i get a bigger <laughs> engine and... i'm waiting for that transaxle blow up it's been two two and a half solid years no problems the only thing is i've probably broken four belts minus tools materials obviously the mower because i did get it for free um, at first, I only put 50 bucks into two pulleys, front rear, and a small pit bike gas tank. I ended up not using that. Um, later, I bought a carburetor, cheap carburetor for that eight horse, 15 bucks. Um, paint and the tape for the seat ran me another 30. And the past two and a half years, I've probably gone through four or five belts, 15 bucks a piece. So we're looking at a little under 200 bucks in two and a half years. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. John Deere hat. 
John Deere cup. All right. Edible. That is not sponsored. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're selling this on the website. Hey, 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 hey. This was my, just so you know, this was probably my first build of any sorts. Other than that, I had fixed that junky go-kart. The banana peel. Yeah, the banana split. Thank <laughs> you.